Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 117. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, here we go. We're going to do the uh, Japanese GT Invitational for this one. Uh, we're taking a... I believe it's a Lexus. Uh, starting off with Twin Ring, Maple Valley, Circuit de Catalunya, Suzuka, Camino Vale de Montserrat, and then New York. Let's get going. All right, here we go. And suffer through the ad because I must. To be fair, the ads aren't that intrusive. Um, I have leftovers from paycheck for gas till next paycheck. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. That's the one thing I never understood about when you work somewhere. Like, companies expect you to pay for your own travel kind of thing. That always seems a bit confusing. 5.30, not bad. Lucky bastard. See, you're minted compared to me. I've got no money. <laughs> Sorry, I got a fiver now. <laughs> Actually, is it the second today? If it's the second today, then I get paid tomorrow. Yes, let's get Mr. Beast in here. Mr. Beast can do me a solid. Do, do. Hey, no worries, Tack. It's, obviously, it's not necessary to uh, donate or sub or anything like that. That's all just if, if you would like to and you want to help support the channel, it's there. <coughs> <laughs> I mean, my, I, I said I made a forever lasting offer that if we get a thousand subs in one month, <laughs> I'm making an OnlyFans, <laughs> and everyone gets a month for free. So, a, a thousand subs, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> the offer's still there. You want to look at my own lift? <laughs> nah. I sort of... Like, I'm in awe at how much some of these OnlyFans chicks can actually earn. And it's impressive, like, fair play to them. To be able to earn that much money. However... Uh, the people that do buy OnlyFans, I don't understand why. Because, like, there's so many other sources of that kind of material that, why, why would you pay an OnlyFans creator that, like, again, the people who create the content and know that there are people that are stupid enough to pay for that. Fair enough. Good on them. But, yeah, those individuals are lost cause. If Met can complete Falls a series, he gets a private jet or he gets slapped on the ass. Hmm. I mean, I, w I, I wouldn't mind the jet. I'd probably sell it straight away. Sell the jet on and somebody else could have the jet. So I can have the money. I'd much rather the money. 
Ah, nice. Appreciate it, Cotto. <laughs> Marvellous. Be mine. I hate OnlyFans girls. They put us boys to shame. We want to earn money, but they are taking all our customers. <laughs> I mean, they, they definitely do have an added perk. Do you know, I, I really, really, really want to try, like, a beef Burger King. Because I, I haven't had Burger King for 10 years, right? And when I was a kid, I literally hated anything unless it was made of chicken. Don't ask why. I just couldn't eat it. I didn't like things that tasted like beef. I obviously love beef burgers now, but back then, fucking hated them. Haven't been to Burger King since, though. And I very much was, like, you see these adverts of, like, the Whopper and all that, and they look absolutely fucking delicious. But, like, I just, no. Cell neck bath water. That requires me to have a bath. Uh, to be fair, I could, like, put, like, dishes beneath me and, like, capture the shower water. <laughs> That'd look a bit weird. I literally had beef with beef. Yes, tag. <laughs> I had beef with beef. <laughs> titties. Titties. Hey, guess what? I got a pair of my own titties. I'm lucky. I'm a guy and I've got titties. <laughs> Shut up. They're called titties, alright? <laughs> Man bobs. I've got the man bobs. You, you, fat boy. I can make my own band now. Fat boy slim. Yo, Cotto, if we were ever to, like, join a tournament of something as, like, a duo, we should definitely be called Fat Boy Slim. <laughs> that would be fucking sick. <laughs> That would be our team name. Suck him. Suck a dick. Motherfucker. Suck a dick. Double ads. <laughs> Let's go. Double money. Two times on all income. I got a 2x income ticket. <laughs> Offer the ring pull off my monster can for Call of Duty. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. I remember when we went to college and we would like take all of the ring pulls off of cans of monster and just use them to get our tokens. Like, we would buy so many cans of Monster just to get two times XP in fucking Call of Duty. Like, hmm, do we buy a pound can of Fanta? No, I'm going to buy a two pound can of Monster so I've got my double XP. So you're one, buzzing off your tits. Two, you feel like you've died two hours later. Three, close to a heart attack, probably, maybe. Eh, I don't know. And four, you got double XP. <laughs> It was such a such a brilliant brilliant thing. Chicken royale and large fries and a Ben and Jerry's with a f vanilla Dr Pepper. First of all, I'm actually curious what a vanilla Dr Pepper tastes like, so I I can you send me one? <laughs> uh, and second of all, 
I didn't realize that um, Burger King actually sold Ben and Jerry's. Oh, we got Priam. Priam. Which one have you got? Because I've obviously got all. I've got all three, and I've got. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm trying this one handed. I have. Green Prim. It's all empty. I drank it like two months ago, but I kept the bottles. Blue Prim. And Red Prim. Hey, no worries, Tack. No worries. Thank you so much for stopping by, though. Hopefully, um... We can see you again on... F it's Friday today, never mind. On Sunday, when we're going to be doing uh, the next... Falls of Stream. Uh, tomorrow, I might actually do... Some Euro Truck. <laughs> really into Euro Truck at the moment. Blame hands. It's all hands' fault. <laughs> I'm joking. It's actually a really good game. Um, it's basically just a energy drink. It's similar to like Lucas Aid Sport, um, but it, it tastes a little more like a normal fruit drink rather than because Lucas Aid Sport is just pretty much like. Something to get liquid into you. The flavor's a bit naff. Whereas this is like flavor first, liquid in you second kind of thing. Euro truck need DLC. Si I don't get that reference. <laughs> I don't think it was you that got me back into Euro truck sim, Kodo. Because I had already... I had installed it after putting it on the Steam Deck. And I was messing around with it on the Steam Deck before. I mean, yeah, you were the one who asked me, but... <clears throat> Technically, since Hans asked me to play the other time. <laughs> Soviet Womble. Oh, ah. I think I recognize the name. I might have to uh, have a look. Yeah, you definitely got me back into the F1 games. 100%. Sort of not into them anymore, though. I've got about 15, 10, 15 hours on F122. I don't think I'm going back to it anytime soon. Um, yeah. I really want EA to fix the EA launcher. Get it to work on uh, Steam Decks again. Feel like I've been absolutely fucking like dick punched by them. Sometimes you feel you should be crawling back to me. My phone just went off. Beep beep. Oh shit, I'm not in first. I'm not in first, I need to be in first. Nissan, fuck off. Lexus for the win, remember? Let's go! Meow. Alright, result. Well, I've got to redo the race because I got around the final corner and I got overtaken on the last straight. Pissed. Yeah, that frame drop was ridiculous. Uh, basically, at the end of the game, this game just lags like a bitch. <laughs> Brother lost. <laughs> Brother lost. He lost the position. Oh no. I 
I did eight laps for nothing. You absolute cheeseburger. Oh, that's a great insult. I'm not bad at Forza. I just took one bad corner and got overtaken at the exit. <laughs> yeah, Hamilton's 22 season wasn't great. I mean, I'm not sure about collectibles and stuff because I haven't looked at it, but AC Odyssey to 100% that will be pretty awesome. Uh, I just want to finish it, play the game and enjoy it. I'm not really focusing on 100% for that. But because of how well um, the Steam Deck sort of syncs save data, it's really easy to just play Assassin's Creed on the go on the Steam Deck. Um, and then when I sort of relax, I can play it straight off my PC and carry on. Well, yeah, we all know that, Wolfie. Fucking nutter. <laughs> That's the sole reason why I don't try to push for competitive games, because I'm not a competitive person, first of all, so I don't really enjoy competitive stuff, but if I try and... <clears throat> there was a phase where I did actually push to play, like, competitive stuff, and that was back when Rainbow Six Siege was really good. <laughs> good idea, Kato. Um, Yeah, back when Siege was good, I sort of pushed myself to play more competitive games. Um, did that. And very much regret it, because for that whole period of playing Siege, didn't play a single other game. Like, I got so much playtime on Siege and Forza. That was the two games I played. I really wish I had, like, branched out into other stuff earlier rather than later. Like, for example, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Only competitive on very few things. Destiny 2 was the worst of us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I didn't even think Destiny 2 was competitive. From what I've played, it doesn't seem like a competitive game. But then again, I probably haven't played enough of it. I'm just not really a fan of, like... I'm a massive hater of live service. Because every live service game I've ever played has always been ruined eventually. So I really cannot reiterate enough. How much I hate live service games. Yeah, I know. Like, the only problem is live service stuff. You look at Forza, how Forza, it's basically become a live service title. They constantly update it with new online events. And you see how Forza Horizon specifically like Horizon 4 and Horizon 5, how much worse they were compared to Horizon 3 and Horizon 2. Games that had online modes, but were literally just that. You would go online and do some races. There wasn't any sort of live, oh yeah, we're constantly updating this with new stuff and whatnot. The, the thought of live service makes sense from a business standpoint, in terms of making it more efficient for a company. You know, we've got a game that's constantly being updated, sure. 
But from a gamer standpoint, I don't understand why gamers accept live service games. Because it's ruining the gaming industry. Hands down. And Fortnite gets the most play. Like, you look at stuff like... I mean, GTA is a bad example, but... GTA, when it first came out and they first had the online mode, everyone was raving for it. And then all of a sudden, they bring out this live service stuff. They're constantly updating it. Yeah, like, GT7, Gran Turismo 7, a game that we've been looking forward to for ages, but because they are basically made it into this live service thing where they're just constantly updating it, adding new content, and tweaking, adjusting stuff, and whatnot, it just ruins it. It ruins the whole aspect. They're updating a game that's fa one failed from the start, which already is an error, and two are making it like they're just adding stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's it's good in its in its place. Like, for example, Rainbow Six Siege is the ideal title to have live service. Now, granted, Ubisoft fucking ruined that game because they don't know how to do live service properly. But Rainbow Six Siege, great example. Um, I'll, I'll give GTA credit. GTA Online is completely separate from the main GTA game. So it doesn't impact single player people. People who want to enjoy, you know, the core experience of Grand Theft Auto. So, by all means, the live service model works for GTA when online is completely separate. I know a lot of people hated on the fact that GTA Offline didn't get any of the content that online got. But now when we're in an era of where live service actually is very common and ruining a lot of games you realize that actually the way that GTA did it not updating stuff for their game actually was a good idea I hate to admit that but GTA not adding their online stuff into the core game was a very very strong move Need for Speed Unbound. I really can't put a finger on it. Why I'm enjoying it a lot more than all the others. I, I already made this point in the last stream. Because on paper, everything is worse. Hands down. Everything... Statistically, like, the cops are worse. Um, the story is technically worse than the last games that have come out in the last 10 years, except for Rivals. Um, the actual way that events are done, I actually quite like that. I think that's a lot better, so I'll, I'll give that credit. Um, I mean, the lighting, the graphics, they're all pretty much copy and paste. There's nothing too fancy but for some reason this game just feels so much better it does feel like a much better game yeah rivals was good but that had no story i still i'm still completely baffled by the people that sit down look at need for speed um Unbound and say oh, This game doesn't have any story But then proceeds to be the exact Same person that absolutely sucks off Most Wanted 05 A game that There was no story and it was pretty much just Voice lines And a couple of cutscenes But for some reason people are like Oh Need for Speed Unbound Is so bad There's no story It's just repetitive Like Need for Speed Most Wanted 05 was the literal definition of repetitive. It was the same stuff 
over and over again. There was no variation to the event list, but people loved it. It was a good game. But for some reason, because it's Need for Speed Unbound and it's a new game, for s they just won't make that comparison, you know? The Hot Pursuit Remastered game, the new one, really good game. Just because the original game was fucking amazing, but, you know. Oh, you prick. I know it's a brutal comparison when you think of it, like, saying, well, you're an idiot, but it's true. Like, on paper, but even then, like, more event types, it was still repetitive, just the same event types over and over again. At least with this game, there's a variety of different sort of parts to the map. Like, Most Wanted 05's map was fairly repetitive. It was fairly small. So a lot of the events that you ended up doing did feel same-o, same -o, even though they were different types. So, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Like, some people just don't want to um, watch it till... Uh, what's it called? I've just seen that King's in chat. Did I miss that? What up, King? How are you doing? <laughs> I think I completely missed that. Thirty-five minutes ago. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Apologize. <laughs> I've just looked at my bot software. But to be fair, it was one single message, so. <laughs> if I missed it, you should have put another one. Because <laughs> individual messages can get missed. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't. If it was an emote, I probably wouldn't have seen it then, because I don't really pay attention to the emotes half the time. <laughs> I'm too busy focusing on trying to read, like, text messages that the emotes just sort of, like, disappear. What even the fuck is that? Uh, it's not me. It doesn't relatively look like me. It doesn't resemble me. It has nothing to do with me. A bot. How am I a bot? Look at that. It is, and it's actually quite overpowered. <laughs> this is a really good car in Gran Turismo, and I never understood why no one takes it. I used to drive it all the time, like, in, um, GC7. Because it is a pretty good car.
Especially for Group 2 cars. Most Group 2 cars are actually like really high in terms of performance points. But because this one is rated slightly lower. You're more than likely. A lot of the sponsorships on these cars are slightly modified. <laughs> GTR GR2. <laughs> Nobody uses it because they get sidetracked as soon as they see the GTR. But uh, no, this car is it is slightly less powerful. But you can obviously put a turbocharger in it and make it more powerful. Same with any car. But in its stock form is really powerful for... Um, uh, what's it called? In its stock form, this is actually extremely powerful. Um, for like 800 PP limit events and stuff like that. Because as soon as you upgrade it, it goes above that. And most group, th group 2 cars are above that. 800 rating. Or 700, I'm not sure what the number is. Well, no, I don't actually have the GTR. So I think the handful of people that use the NSX are just people that haven't got the GTR yet. <laughs> but the NSX is terrible compared. For once, I'm not at the bottom. Let's go! Let's make this more regular chat. <laughs> I like it. The thing is, I don't focus on how many viewers there are in terms of numbers. It really doesn't bother me. Like, I could have one, I could have a million. The number doesn't bother me. Wow. Technically, if there's one, that would bother me in my future point. But it could be a low number, it could be a high number, I wouldn't care. What I prefer is an active chat. If there are people chatting in the chat, we've got... Um, people chatting, new people joining, you know, that's the important bit. Mick is never at the bottom for me because I'm very much a small community boy. Let's go! Let's go! Poggers. Yeah, like... <sighs> We're very much behind on schedule now because I had to do that race twice, so that basically just wasted 15 minutes. <laughs> Shut up, Wolfie. <laughs> we know, lad. You don't need to tell us. We know already. I don't even know how many followers I got on Twitch. <coughs> I know we're getting close to a thousand, so. Come on, let's get us to a thousand. Come on, chat. Let's see if we can get it by the end of this year, because we tried to get it at the end of last year and then it just tailed off. Let's get it at the end of this year. We've got a month to do it. To get to a thousand. Legitimately. So share the stream out with everyone you know. Share them between face gr groups. 923. So we got to get 77. Over the next month. Let's see if we can get that. If we can get a thousand. Before the end of the month. I will. 
Facebook groups. You'd be surprised how many people are in Facebook groups that will... Like, people on Facebook are more willing to click on stuff, so... <laughs> you know. Facebook's a good way of uh, sharing your stuff out. I don't know if I can do a 24 hour, because I, I, I don't know if I can stay awake for 24 hours. I'd do another, like, subathon stream. Because I haven't done one of those in a while. Start at 24 hours, and I'll do, like, every sub an extra. I don't know. 15 minutes, something like that. I'll have to work out what we do close to the time, but I will do like an extended stream. Either I'll do twelve a twelve hour endurance on one sub is an hour. No. Fucking hell. That definitely would be a capped stream then. Cause you gotta think mathematically. It's how much I'm earning compared to what I'm going to be doing. So, mathematically, if I'm doing a sub for 15 minutes, that is equivalent to about £6 an hour. So, that is still lower than minimum wage in the UK. So, mathematically, one pound an hour. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm not doing something that small. Or, I might just do a tip-a-thon. Which is basically just the same thing, but it's tips only. So you go in and you do tips with the tip feature. Could do that. I think a tipathon would be a better idea actually because in terms of percentages, I earn more out of it. And in terms of how much it costs a viewer, it costs a lot less. <laughs> I'm not doing something that small, man who humps his pillow. Fuck off. No, that's not how it works. Because the sub is still one pound. It might cost you four pound, but... <laughs> the amount that I earn isn't much. It does look really wide on this game, I will be honest. The chicane's quite... Quite chunky. I'll probably do a pound is 10 minutes and you can tip as much as you want and have it uncapped. That I wouldn't have a problem with. Otherwise if it was going to be smaller it would have to be a capped stream. Alright, there we go. Resolve. Well, that's two videos done. I've got two more to go. Actually, was that the third or the fourth race? If that was the fourth, I've already started the third one. 
No, it's third. Right, we're going on to the third one now. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.